So today we're going to talk about how surgeons fix Liz Frank injuries and we have a video on what Liz Frank injuries are but just going to quick detail, it involves what's called the Liz Frank ligament which is a rope between this bone here called the medial cuneiform which lives over the middle of the foot on the big toe side and is connected by that ligament or rope to the second metatarsal which is a bone in the middle of the foot in line with your second toe. And an injury to this ligament can be quite severe, it can be from a fracture or a purely ligament rupture. And basically the job of the ligament is to keep this purple blue toe side of your foot connected to the yellow side of your foot which we're just going to mark here and if that rope gets busted for any reason then what that can result in, in collapse of your arch and even a high risk of arthritis it's quite a serious injury for everybody um, now here's an x-ray of what happens if that rope busts that second metatarsal which is the first red line moves away from that second red line there and those two lines there should normally line up on an x-ray and if, if it's moved that can be a Liz Frank injury. The other way it can present is this little chip fracture with ligament attaches. And unfortunately, both that X-ray and CT mean that you would need an operation in that case. But it does come in a variety of presentations. Now, one of the worst is something called a homolateral Liz Frank injury, where the um, bones in line with the second, third, and fourth toes move away from the big toe. And we're just going to line this up on the X-ray here. Once again, these lines here should line up, but they don't because that big toe bone has moved away, as has the bone in line with the second toe from where, um, where it should be. And so these fractures or these injuries will need to be fixed. And the, the uh, video today is going to explain how that needs to be done. So we're going to draw um, this foot again here um, with this injury that we've just outlined there and the X around the right. And how it's fixed is a plate and screws. Um, and a surgeon will put the bones back in line where they need to be and then put some plate and screws bridging across the joints to hold them where they need to be to then allow the body to scar them in the right position. And occasionally those plates will need to be removed at a later date. Now, how the surgeons bring them back to position is one of these large clamps. They, they basically place it across the bone and bring the bones back to where they need to be. And if you look at where these red lines are now, they line up where they need to be. And that allows the surgeon then to put the plate and screws on top and keep them in that appropriate position. So if we draw this plate again now, this blue plate that we've previously drawn, and then there's the plate that's also in line with the third toe. This is what it's going to look like on x-ray. So you get an idea of what those plates and screws look like on x-ray. And as I said, we try and keep them in for as long as possible. Now, there is another form of a Liz Frank injury where you just bust the ligament only. There's no fractures. Things don't necessarily move much in terms of the bone, but unfortunately it's still unstable and can cause you a long-term problem. So we've just drawn that busting of the ligament there. And what this occasionally is able to have is what's called a tightrope construct, which is what we use in the ankle. And it means drilling across the two bones and then deploying a device as a button that attaches to each of the bones. You see the two buttons there either side. And in between those two buttons is synthetic fiber. And we do have a video explaining how this is done. And that can be used particularly in sports stars, but probably not more of those severe injuries that we just showed prior to this. If there's an issue with the skin, occasionally you just place a couple of screws underneath the skin, but this construct's not proven to be quite as good. Um, but it is something we can certainly consider. And then lastly, if everything is smashed, if the bones are comminuted, meaning in multiple pieces, um, then the option we've got is something called a midfoot fusion. Uh, and that's what the x-ray looks like there on the left, a midfoot fusion. And some of you might be wondering, well, what does a midfoot fusion mean? Well, a midfoot fusion actually means that we start making those bones that are really fractured. We start making that bone and the bone next to it into one bone. So to, to sort of make some sense of it here, on the left here we've got what a foot looks like with the bones drawn and the joints, and you'll see a difference to the um, photo on the right. So we've got a blue arrow, a red arrow, and a green arrow, all pointing at different joints to the big toe, second toe, third toe. So you look at that blue arrow now on the right, that joint is gone. Same with the red arrow, same with the green arrow. And what has happened then is that what the surgeon's done is he's removed any remaining cartilage around where the fractures are, and he's then compressed the bones together and the body will then meld them together. And that reduces some uh, movement of the joints. And generally we do this for really bad fractures or sometimes in patients that have already got arthritis. Um, but it's a very effective way to giving people back function when the injury is really bad. Because if we just fix them, there's probably a higher chance in those cases of having ongoing pain. But thank you very much for listening to our uh, video today. If you have any questions, please take a look at our other um, videos on Liz Frank injuries. Thanks again for listening to the Foot and Ankle Orthopedic Surgeon.